Hey, Collective, hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. Shout out to everyone that has booked a personal reading, everybody that has donated, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's jump right in. Let's see what is this message for the collective. What is it that the collective needs to know? What is this message for the collective? What is it that the collective needs to know? We have learning experience here. We have learning experience, okay? Wow, it wanna split here at sacred plan with no here. So I feel like it's some things that you went through collective. There are some things that you experience um, in your life, okay? And I feel like, again, some things were not meant for us, right? But we had to, it had to happen or we had to go through it, okay? This was all for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The lesson, okay? There is a lesson within uh, the learning experience, okay? Which is ultimately what the learning experience is about, a lesson, okay? So I feel like there are some lessons uh, that God had to teach you here. Yeah, we have, wow, spiritual growth at the bottom. Yeah, with raise your vibration and vulnerability and freedom here, guys. This is confirmation. Again, there are some lessons that you had to learn, okay? This all was for uh, your spiritual growth here. Look, see, the third eye has been activated here. There are things that you go through in life that will cause uh, you to automatically like go through initiations or spiritual activations things like that but yeah we have raise your vibration you're definitely being called to raise your vibration at this time or again this um learning experience is uh, uh i'm getting tongue tied excuse me this learning experience or this lesson again was called um was caused for you to raise your vibration and we have vulnerability and freedom here i i kind of feel like it's nothing wrong with being vulnerable okay i feel like you have to be vulnerable at times okay um i feel like you're being called also to boost your confidence okay um, I feel like you've experienced a lot of harsh experiences. Um, you've endured a lot of things that, you know, just you're not, you are not proud of, okay? Um, but again, know that your vulnerability here gives you the chance to find strength, okay? Gives you the chance to be free. Connect with parts of your self-collective that you love, that you admire, okay? Know that your sensitivity um, is not a curse. It's a gift. I feel like if you are, um, if you're an emotional soul, or let me say this, if you're emotionally connected, if you are an emotionally connected soul, excuse me, or it um, maybe you have been overwhelmed, um, okay? I feel like those emotions are great reminders of how much you care about living truthfully, how much you care about living in a positive way. I, I feel like this is what helps uh, make you uh, a unique person, the person that you are. This, is, this will allow the world, this will allow people uh, to value you. But for, for whatever reason, you're being called to put yourself out there. Drop the shields, okay? Drop the barriers. Uh, drop your guard. You know, we like to have our guard up sometimes. But I feel like these walls are preventing the world from seeing your light, okay? You don't need to protect yourself. You don't need to worry about protection because God can do that for you. You focus on the things that you have the ability to do. Everything else, you give it to God.
whenever you feel vulnerable or unsafe, okay, uh, old habits and patterns will want to kick in, but call in the light of God, okay, and surrender the need to protect yourself again. Um, when you give angels permission to come in and help you, they will. They'll guide you towards freedom, okay? They will guide you towards joy, okay? They will guide you towards your highest good. And that's what the enemy don't want to do. The enemy don't want to meet you on God's route. This is why you always need to ask for divine guidance. This is why you always should seek uh, to be divinely led. Because God already have a route that's mapped out. That's got, this way is going to protect you. So it don't matter if you stumble upon the enemy on God's route. You cannot be defeated. You cannot be touched. God already got, got it set up, the booby traps, okay? You know, home alone. It's okay to be home alone, you know, because you got God. The traps are already set. That's what God want them to do. That God want the enemy to follow you down his path. I'm going to say that again. God want the enemy to follow you down God's path. Because the booby traps are already set is what I'm hearing, collective. Again, there are some things that you've went through here with learning experiences. This was a learning curve, okay? These were lessons that you needed to learn to elevate. Yeah, we got take a step back with surrender here. I feel like you've already surrendered. So this now, yeah, God is saying, just take a step back. That's all you got to do. Just take a step back. It's just like God saying, I got this. Again, focus on the things that you have control of. The things that you do not have control of, give it to God. Yeah, we have harmony and resolution. Again, God has a resolution to everything. God has a resolution to everything. Again, once you take a step back, once you give those things to God that you have no control of, God can move. God can begin to work. God will begin to, to uh, bring things into harmony for you. And I feel like this is what is happening here. God is bringing some things into harmony for you. God is working some things out in your favor here. God already have the resolution. We got two that flew out. We got earth and ground here. So some of you, I feel like you are very grounded. Yeah, with composure here. Woo, this is giving me big energy with earth and ground and composure. Baby, you connected to source. You connected to source right now. You are very grounded. I feel like you are in spiritual alignment here. Again, this is you laying the sword down, okay? You giving things to God that you have no control of. I also feel like um, with composure here, again, it's time to like gather your thoughts, your energy, okay? You could be experiencing some sort of buildup of frustration or uh, either annoyance at this time. It, yeah, because it's like, again, um, the warrior in you may want to rise up and fight or prove yourself, but you don't have to do that. You know, just retreat, reflect, compose yourself, okay? And this isn't any situation that you in, you that you are in, okay? Um, angel wisdom is guiding you. Remember that. So take the time to ask your angels, okay, your spirit guides, uh, to help compose your thoughts 
and to compose your energy. Know that the divine hand of God is upon whatever situation that you're dealing with at this time. There is no need to worry about anyone's karma but your own, okay? Just, again, retreat, refuel, regain your composure here. Re refrain from reacting, okay, to a situation out of fear, out of separation, because, again, there is a sacred plan, okay? God already have it mapped out here. What else is it that the collective need to know? Wow, it came back out. Sacred plan and spiritual growth, okay? And we also have transformation at the bottom of the deck. This is you collective. You Maybe you're seeing butterflies at this time because you have went through some sort of transformation here. Yeah, you've spiritually elevated. You are walking in your divine purpose with sacred plan here and spiritual growth. This is the importance of you staying grounded, you keeping your composure, of you giving everything, uh, that you, the things that you don't have control of, you giving those things to God. You are walking towards your north node. You are where you need to be at this time, collective. Again, and don't feel like because we all we all go through things. So don't feel like because you went through something, you messed up, you stumbled, you no, that's life. That's life. You will always go through things. Just the more spiritually connected you are, you know, the less harsher that they are. But everything is, is meant to happen for a reason. And I'm not even going to say the more spiritually connected you are, the less harsher they are. It's just the God that is in you, okay? You will be able to get over things much more easier. Because again, you are spiritually connected. You're spiritually grounded. You understand that, there, that everything happens uh, for a reason, Wow, and we have angelic protection here. You are highly protected. Wow, you are highly protected here. Whoa, that hit me in the face. <laughs> wow, we have manifestation, guys. Something gonna hit you in the face. Yeah, something you're manifesting just gonna hit you in the face. The card literally flew out and hit me in the face. Manifestation is something you're manifesting. I feel like um, maybe you need to be speaking affirmations or you are speaking a positive affirmations, okay? Because you are in a powerful manifesting energy at this time. This is giving me this divine feminine energy, this empress energy here. This energy of manifestation. You are magnetic at this time. But again, it's because you are walking in your divine purpose. You know that there is a divine plan for your life. And you see it's also connecting to earth and ground. Okay, this manifestation is happening again for you because of, of how grounded you are, how connected to source that you are. Again, you are uh, magnetic at this time. Pay attention to the things you are resting your mind on, okay? Yeah, we have expect miracles. Wow, we ask and receive. Wow. You are that connected to source. You are that in alignment. Wow. There is some sort of miracle here that you're going to receive. There's a miracle that you're manifesting here. But remember, you need to look like you need a miracle, okay? You got to step out on faith. You got to walk in that unknown territory. Ask and you shall receive. Always ask, collective. Always ask. Because it's like, this is how God want to show you how he work. Ask and you shall receive, right? So if you don't ask, it's not like God can't do it for you. 
But if you ask him, he going to do it so you know that it's him. If that makes sense. That's going to go over somebody's head. God can do it for you without you asking, okay? But the reason that you need to be asking is so God is God is trying to prove he is who he is. If you ask God for something and only God know you ask him for this, right? And then God bless you with it. You know, it's from God. So it's important to ask guys. Yeah, we got blessings and abundance. Wow. Flew out with ask and receive again at the bottom. Wow. God is being very clear. The Holy Spirit is being very clear, collective. Again, ask and you shall receive. God is going to bless you. God is going to pour abundance in somebody's life, okay? There's a miracle that you're manifesting at this time. You are about to be very blessed. Again, the Holy Flow Collective. The Holy Flow. Ask and you shall receive. Yeah, we have power and intention. This is you asking and you shall receive. This is when you asking, you knowing that you're going to receive it. You, you are doing things uh, with intention. You are, this is you stepping into your power. You knowing who you are. You knowing the power of the tongue. Wow, the last card it came out, guys. Ask and receive. I'm going to say this one last time and close out this reading. This is beautiful energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have do the work. I feel like you've done the work collective. You've done the work. This is why you have the power that you have. God don't give you the power without you doing the work. But we know you've done the work because power and intention is here. Next to blessings, next to ask and receive, you've done the work. God has instilled this power within you. Remember, God have the ability collective to provide, to do for you without you asking, okay? But the beauty of you asking is because God is trying to strengthen his relationship with you. God wants you to know that he real. There are some things that God only want you to ask him for and that's it. So when he give it to you that you know it came from him. Again, this is to build your relationship. This is to connect you deeply with God. This is beautiful energy, guys. I hope somebody got this message today. If it did, please leave a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed, guys. Okay? Um, and thank you guys so much for watching.